we're here for the election results. They are in. More than a million voters in Colorado participated in yesterday's primary. Yeah, just shy of 125,000 voters returning ballots. Here in El Paso County, that's more than a quarter of the registered voters here. And in Pueblo, nearly 30,000 ballots were returned. And let's jump right into those results. These results are 99% of precincts reporting. The AP has called Heidi Ganahl the Republican nomination for governor of Colorado. She defeated Greg Lopez with 54% of the vote. She will go on now to face Governor Jared Polis in November. Governor Polis was not primaried, and our news partners caught up with Ganahl at a watch party in Sedalia last night. And I will trust all of you, and I will follow the Constitution as your governor, and I will win back Colorado for all of us. We'll do this together. Are you ready? Yeah! Well, another big question heading into last night. Who will be going up against incumbent U.S. Senator Michael Bennett in November? Voters selecting businessman Joe O'Day, who defeated State Representative Ron Hanks. And here's what O'Day had to say about his win. When they counted the votes, independents showed up. They voted for me in this primary. And we're going to work hard to keep them in our coalition this fall. Our coalition is what made this victory possible. Now, one more statewide race. A lot of eyes were on last night. The Republican nomination for Secretary of State, and that goes to former Jefferson County Clerk Pam Anderson. She will now run against the current Secretary of State, Jenna Griswold. And the race for the newly reconfigured congressional district encompassing most of El Paso County, incumbent Republican Doug has taken the lead with 48 percent of the vote. I believe that's Doug Lamborn. He will face Democrat David Torres. There was a party at Blue Barn Hall for Doug Lamborn and many other Republican candidates and there's been some concerns of a breakoff group GOP called Top Line Republicans. Many of their views are considered far right. The group however that dominated the night called themselves common sense Republicans. Now, as for what Lamborn's seat means nationally, it's possible Republicans could take over the majority in the House. He thinks voters saw through the ugly politics that happened in this primary. When they counted the votes, independents showed up. They voted for me in this primary, and we're going to work hard to keep them in our coalition this fall. Our coalition is what made this victory possible. And that was not uh, Doug Lamborn that we heard from there. The current undersheriff, Joe Royball, was also at that watch party last night. He saw strong backing from voters in El Paso County to be the next sheriff, and he's going to face Democrat John Foley in November, who ran unopposed. I'm feeling very humbled. Uh, I've earned the support of many people in the community, community leaders, uh, both elected and civic leaders, and now clearly I've earned the trust of the community. Now, our current county coroner, Republican Leon Kelly, was also part of the group called Common Sense Republicans. He had a lot of supporters last night from the votes. He won with 67 percent, and he will go against Democrat Bridget Garner, who ran unopposed.